Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought starting this month I will do a weekly monthly favourites video, rounding up all of my favourite books, products, TV shows, podcasts, anything like that, and just share them with you in case you're looking for some recommendations. So I'm going to split these favourites videos up and talk about my favourite books, TV shows or films, podcasts, creators and any products or items. So my first favourite this month, it is a book but I put it in the under the product category because it's not a book that you'd read the whole way through, it's a book that I use daily and it's called Journey to the Heart. I've mentioned it in one of my other vlogs. Essentially it's a book filled with daily meditations and prompts and I like using it as part of my morning routine and using it as a journaling prompt and it's just a really really nice way to start the day. My second favourite thing is something that I recently discovered and I think it is an absolute bargain. Now I don't shop in Waitrose regularly but when I do go in there I like to just have a browse around and look at the bakery section because it's always way bougier than the standard supermarket like Tesco. So I recently stumbled across this pack of five brownies in Waitrose for one pound. That is such a bargain. Waitrose Essential Brownies is a pack of five. They're fairly small, but they're really, really good and moist and gooey and they're only a pound. And that is just such a steal and definitely has to go on my favorites list. The next thing that I've been absolutely loving this month has been good quality coffee. So my sister recently got me and my mum this really, really good independent brand store of coffee that I also mentioned in a previous vlog and I've been drinking and it tastes so good. And I love just waking up in the morning and having that to look forward to. I don't have it every single day. I do only have it as a treat, but it's such a nice treat when I do have it. And then the final thing under this category that I've been really loving has been my jade roller that I use every single day as part of my skincare routine. And it just makes my my skin feel so nice. I honestly look forward to using my jade roller every single day. Next up are my favourite books that I've read. My favourite books of February, the first one is Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. Honestly, I, I read this book in one sitting. I couldn't put it down. It's so fun. It's so quirky. It's full of the most outrageous anecdotes and stories about her life. And it's just such a fun non-fiction book. Dolly is, she's just so entertaining. And if you are looking for a really lighthearted, fun read, I would highly, highly recommend reading it because oh, you, just, you just escape to another world. The next book on my list is Where the Crawdads Sing. This book was so good. I didn't read it, I listened to it as an audiobook on my walks. Honestly, recently I've been more into reading non-fiction books, but I got this as an audible book because I'd just seen the recommendations, I'd heard how good it was, and so I thought I'd use it as one of my audible purchases. And it was such a good listen. Honestly, it was so well written, the tale is just so beautiful, it's just, I can't even Clearly, I can't even describe it properly, but it's just, it's so beautiful and it's made me want to read more fiction like it because the way the story was told, the whole narrative, the plot, everything was just so, it was just so well done. So if you haven't read it already, I would definitely consider doing it. If you want to listen to it on Audible, you can get it for free with a 30 day Audible trial. There's a link in the description box below if you want that. But yeah, I, I absolutely loved Where the Chord I Sing and I would highly recommend it. And then my final book for this month is one that I haven't actually entirely finished yet. I've nearly finished it, but I mean, even with what I've read, even, even the first chapter, I would still recommend it. And that is Atomic Habits by James Clear. This book has been on my to be read list for at least two years and I don't know why I never got around to reading it. Honestly, I had it on my list. I knew I always wanted to read it. I even follow James Clear on Instagram and see his posts and his tidbits and his words of advice and wisdom and yet I never went and got the book and I knew that I wanted to buy the book rather than borrow the book or read it as an ebook or listen to it. I knew I wanted to physically have the book and for some reason I never went and ordered the book but I finally did. I got the book and I've started reading it and it's amazing, honestly. It's a self-help book. It's about how to form good habits and how to improve habits and how what makes a person successful is the small things they do every single day, day in, day out, and how that builds up and compounds over time and is what actually causes a person's success. And it's just so interesting. It's so well-written. It's a really easy read and it really makes you think about your daily behaviors, your habits, your bad habits. It really makes you reflect. And I just love a book that makes you go away and think about how you can improve yourself and inspires you to want to change. And that is definitely what this book is doing. Next up is TV shows. 
and films, although I haven't got any films for this month. Recently I've been absolutely loving a good chick flick, teenage drama, romance, comedy, TV show, and I really thought after Bridgerton I'd kind of exhausted all of the other kind of fun, interesting, captivating TV shows on Netflix because I was looking for something like that, I was looking for something that was just fun and something that is like Gossip Girl or Vampire Diaries and I thought that I had watched everything that I could find on Netflix but then I stumbled across three different TV shows on Netflix and I binge watched them all in an entire night so I, I have to recommend them to you. The first one is Firefly Lane. I didn't actually know the English name for this because my Netflix is in Portuguese so it has a different name in Portuguese but it's called Firefly Lane. It's about female friendship and it follows these two females right from when they were teenagers all the way up until they're in their 40s and it kind of does a lot of flashbacks and different stages of their lives and the plot all interweaves together but it's just such a beautiful show about female friendship. It's got the actress, I can't remember her name, it's got the actress from 27 Dresses in it. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed that one. And then after that, I wanted to find, to find another one that was similar and I couldn't find anything until I stumbled across Valeria, which is a Spanish Netflix TV show. And I remember seeing the adverts for Valeria quite a while ago, like I think a year ago, and I thought it looked really fun, but I never ended up watching it. And I watched it and it was very much Sex in the City vibes and I really, really enjoyed it. It was steamy, it was fun, it was passionate. It was exactly what I wanted to watch at the time. So I'll just rec definitely recommend watching that. I feel like this is exactly what I'm saying for everything, but it is a famous video after all. And then the final show, Ginny and Georgia. I literally finished it last night. Uh, I binge watched all of it and it was also really good. I didn't know what to expect when I saw it pop up on Netflix. I just thought, oh, okay, let's just see what, it, what it's like. And I clicked on the first episode. I started watching the first episode and I thought, oh, is this for me? I don't know. But I kept watching and it just kept getting better. And it's not what you think it is right from the first episode either. It focuses on a mother-daughter relationship, but it's also so much more than that. And there's so much more to the plot and the characters and the twists and turns. And it's definitely not just kind of a chick flick drama focused on a teenage girl and her friendship and how she navigates school life and school drama but it's also part thriller i think it was just such a good tv show it was unexpected it was a lot better than i was expecting it to be and it just there's just so much more depth to it than you first think and i honestly want season two to come out because it was there's just so many questions that have been unanswered and i want to know but yeah those three tv shows if you are looking for something that's just really fun and like chick flicky and romance um go for those three because i really enjoyed watching them and i'm, I'm now at a loss of what else to watch so if you have any more recommendations leave them in the comment section below okay now on to podcasts i have recently been discovering quite a few other podcasts that I wasn't listening to before and now I have such a long list of podcasts that I've subscribed to on Spotify that every time I go to my podcast there's just so many podcast episodes I just haven't listened to because there's just so many whereas before I only listened to a few and I would listen to all of them so the first one that I've been absolutely loving recently and I only came across this podcast recently is Jay Shetty's podcast on purpose. His podcast episodes, I just, I can't wait from them, so inspired. He talks about a variety of different things to do with mindfulness, wellness, relationships, dating, everything you can think of and he also interviews lots of really cool people and I always put his podcast on when I'm doing a workout I don't really know why but um yeah I always get through his lots of his podcasts when I'm doing workouts and I just really enjoy listening to them they're just so inspiring it makes me feel so empowered to want to go away and improve myself another one of my absolute favorites absolute favorites is the two my sisters podcast by Renee and Courtney Oh my god, I love this podcast so, so, so much. I know Renee from university and I followed Courtney on YouTube for quite a while when she was at Cambridge. And the two together, they're two best friends. I honestly love it. They just talk about life in your 20s, the struggles, the hardships. They talk about loads of different relevant topics to anyone who's in their 20s. Everything from finance to living out to relationships to dating to just absolutely everything you can think of. And they talk about such important topics in such a mature and engaging way. I absolutely love their podcast and I think they, they do two episodes a week but I wish they did more because their podcast episodes, as soon as they've released it and I see that it's on my podcast episode list, I honestly press play because it's just amazing. The two girls are amazing. They're so incredible. They're so inspiring. They're so successful. And I would highly recommend supporting two black girls who are just absolutely incredible. Definitely go and listen to their podcast because I love it. I absolutely love it. The next podcast is again, two female friends just having a chat, very relaxed, very chill, talking everything from dating to their own personal lives. It's just a really enjoyable listen. And I don't even know how I stumbled across them, but the podcast is called Girls Got To Eat by Ashley and Raina. And honestly, I don't even know them. I didn't even follow them on any social media before. I only listened to their podcast and it's just so 
interesting. I just, I just like putting it on when I go for my walk and just hearing them both talk about loads of different topics. Another podcast that's been one of my favourites is The Mindset Mentor and this podcast is basically a podcast all about productivity and success and how to change your mindset and every episode you either learn something or you come away from it feeling very very inspired to make a change and then the final podcast episode that I recently only very recently came across a couple of days ago actually is the self-love fix now this podcast is hosted by a woman called Beatrice and she aims to help women of color delve deeper into self-love self-growth and personal development and I really 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 like her podcast episodes they're very empowering and they are very very calming and they're just something nice to put on in the background when you're doing some chores. The self-love fix is just something that I really identify with and I really enjoy listening to. So that's it for podcast. The final section is creators that I've been absolutely loving, my favourite creators this month. First one is Leah's Field Notes. I only recently came across Leah's Field Notes I think at the beginning of this month and I absolutely love her editing style, I love her, the whole vibes, her whole aesthetic, it's immaculate. What I love about her is that she embraces her Chinese culture and heritage and she implements it into her daily life like doing qigong with her and her boyfriend and cooking lots of healthy nutritious yummy Chinese meals and it just really inspires me and makes me want to delve deeper into learning more about my heritage, my culture, learning to cook certain other really good Chinese dishes, learning more about Chinese medicine, practices, things like that. It's just really nice uh, watching her videos. They're very calming, they're very inspiring, and I, I just really enjoy watching her videos. Another person I recently came across as well is Hitomi Mochizuki. Her videos, honestly, she's just so spiritual. She's really inspired me to get to learn more about my spirituality, and just watching her videos, again, very, very inspiring, very calming, just warm and lovely. I just, I just love watching her videos. Another one is, I've mentioned in my other videos as well, is Grackle. Oh my gosh, Grackle is so hilarious, so fun. She's full of energy. Her videos are just so entertaining. When I'm feeling down, I just watch her videos. I love them. They just bring me so much joy. They've inspired me to want to start baking and learning more about how to cook properly. I just, I absolutely love her videos. I just feel like I live vicariously through her when she's baking all these amazing goods. And yeah, she's just so, so fun, so entertaining, so down to earth, absolutely love her. And the final creator is actually one of my very good friends. She's recently started a YouTube channel. Honestly, Charlie Beam, her videos, she is very very small YouTuber but go and check her out, go and support her. Her videos are on point. She puts so much effort into her videos, not just the filming of them but the editing. The editing is amazing, it's immaculate. I absolutely love her editing, her vibes, everything. I just love her, her videos and you can really tell the amount of effort she puts into her editing and I think that she really isn't getting the credit that she deserves and hopefully one day she will because she puts so much effort into her videos and they're just amazing, so inspiring and yeah, she's really inspired me recently to up my video game and I just, I love her. She's just such a lovely person. She's all about positivity and yeah, I really, really, really love her and I really hope that you guys go and check out her work too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you took away some recommendations and that you enjoyed listening to my February favourites. Leave any of your recommendations in the comment section below too as I would love to hear them. Love to hear what your favourites were this month in any of these categories and hopefully see you in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.